Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have, what are their true intentions in love? Uh, and I say that because the first card we have is the Seven of Cups. And you know, uh, this came up in Sagittarius's reading. And it just kind of, when I was shuffling, it just kind of popped out like, well, it's, I wanted to be in this reading too. And so this Seven of Cups, Capricorn, in this particular reading uh, or deck, is the man is devastated on the ground and uh, all these cups are around him. Uh, one of the cups has a rose. That's the one that's kind of standing sort of. And then the other, you know, here's the snake and it's, you know, in the other one. And so, but he's devastated and he wants this woman. Yeah, because he's dreaming here and this requires a choice because in the back, here he is kissing this woman, very happy and they are very much at peace. That's what this man wants, but he has to make a choice. Here is the summons card. And here's the woman, and she's holding her finger to the, to the little imaginary fairy. Like she's being called to accept this manifestation or get rid of limitations or whatever's blocking this choice. Somebody here loves you. I mean, really? Yeah, way deep down inside or, you know, but... This person knows here that they are being called to make this choice because they feel devastated and they want to be with you, but there's something that they have let block them. Here's the self-worth card. Maybe it's that. And they're showing a beautiful woman here and you're thinking to yourself, really, you don't have any self-worth? I mean, you're beautiful, but looks don't create self-worth. No, they don't. That's just like a bandage or something fake, like a mask or whatever. Plenty of beautiful people in this world physically uh, who even have taken their own lives. Yeah, you're like, oh, MG, right? So looks don't, you know, looks don't make it. Uh, they can help you sometimes, but it does it definitely doesn't say that your, your self-worth is high because you're good looking. No, not at all. Uh, you're, you have to believe that you're beautiful inside and out. Yeah, as corny as that could sound to some people, you basically have to love yourself, right? And we know people really love each love themselves. You know, we sat in classes with kids who, you know, uh, they didn't seem that smart to you, but you know, maybe, you know, you thought they were funny looking or whatever, but look how happy they were. They thought that they were the bomb. And so whatever you think, you will manifest. You will. Here's the mirror and the perception card. And here's the red haired woman. And she looks like this chick named, I don't know, Hagen or somebody on this in this one channel. <laughs> uh, she's beautiful here. And she's holding the mirror. She's wearing a mask. But behind her are, uh, is the, you know, kind of the, the high priestess sign with the, the moon and then, you know, the, 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 the crystal ball. But in the mirror is the phoenix rising up. And this is perception. And this person has been looking in the mirror wanting to rise from the ashes, right? And the cloak is here and this is the camouflage. This is a deep card. We're going to have a look at it. Yeah, it is. It's not just, you know, they're wearing a cloak and, you know, they went to the, uh, mm -hmm. the cloak, the wise one in you knows when to maintain a silence. Maybe this is you. This could be also that somebody, this person is in major solitude, right? But this is, uh, let's see, the cloak defines a boundary and has the ability to clam camouflage what it contains. Death is sometimes depicted as a close clothed, cloaked figure camouflaging the void within. Yeah, this person has a void because they, they miss you. They want to make this choice to be with you and they're blocking themselves or inhibiting themselves or limiting themselves. A cloak enables the wearer to take on its qualities while also providing warmth, protection, and containment. It can represent invisibility too, shrouding intents and potential actions until revelation is appropriate. So in other words, it's saying you somebody, you know, they're, they're hiding, like it's a time to be quiet, but they're hiding the time when they're going to take action. They know it's, it's just time to be quiet here uh, about when I'm going to actually take action. There are many thieves on the road to enlightenment who may be well looking for what you have to give. Move invisibly. Your person could be dealing with somebody who is like kind of a thief to them or trying to steal their joy or something like that. More in move invisibly cloaking your future plans. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Very quietly. Be patient. All will soon be in place for revelation. 
Whatever you need to progress or progress will be signposted clearly. Learn how to read and trust these signs. The cloak signifies the time to hold yourself and your ideals with care, to proceed with caution, not revealing yourself or your intentions to others. Weigh it up, whether to speak or be silent or act or wait. Things are germinating and require the right attention. All is not quite in place for the complete picture to emerge. Somebody's planning something here, Capricorn. <clears throat> it's a new beginning with you. That's why we have the summons card. She's answering to this, right? She, the fairy appeared before her and said, do you want to manifest this? And you're being called. The fairy could have hit her on the head with a, you know, a 10 pound wand. Wake up. You're being offered this. Here's the cord in the reverse. This is initiation reverse. This is like an ending. Let's look at it. Yeah. Let's see what they say about that in the reverse. And we have your soul steps closer, uh, not in the reverse though. No need to control, trust and let go. See, that's what I mean about an ending. Let go, cut the cord, let it go and trust it. That's what this person is going to do. And that's what they know they need to do. A cord connects us to the mother during pregnancy is highly symbolic of the womb. The womb is where you manifest. The womb is where you can feel protected. Used in magic to bind, to define boundaries, to hold wishes, and at initiatory rites, colored cords were also used by midwives in ancient days to weave prayers for the newborn. The cord shows this is a time of initiation into the mysteries of life. You're ready to step into new realities and are advised to prepare yourself for the test that is to come. That's what they're doing. They're providing them, they're, they're preparing for the test that is to come, which is letting go of something with any initiation. There's always a measuring of the soul to see how ready it is for growth. That's what the cloak talks about. Wait for the right time. This person is, uh, getting the courage and they're growing and they're, they're saying it's not the right time. They're feeling it. It's not the right time to jump on this. If you're in situations that are binding you or someone else too tightly, this card would indicate restriction. If the present course is maintained, you may need to face a truth. That's what they know. They need to face a truth. So let's get into the reading Capricorn, right? Let's see what we have. I hope you guys are all well. And what time is it? Okay. Cause we spend a lot of time on the intro. We do, right? Yeah. Let's see, what we have your current situation said, uh, Capricorn, your current situation. I usually put these cards down, right? Especially with this particular deck. Six of Pentacles, Justice reversed. OMG. Six of Swords reversed. And the overall energy. Five of Pentacles. And here's the little dog looking in the church window. Can I come in? He feels really cold. Somebody wants to get into the church with you, Capricorn. Right. Yeah. Or get in, get, come, come and be with you. And they feel left out in the cold or they are in a situation that is creating a cold situation for them. Let's see. We're going to use this other deck, uh, and for their perspective, show me their perspective, please. Show me Capricorn's person's perspective. The fool, show me their perspective. See, they want this new adventure with you. The eight of pentacles. Yeah, they're totally inspired by this situation. This woman's happy. She's looking at her, like her rose bush with these pentacles on it. You know, this uh, deck, this card always talks about somebody who is inspired and wants to do a good, uh, a good job or want to make an effort because they love or enjoy this. This person's, this is their perspective. They see this as a beautiful adventure that they're totally uh, inspired about. And here's the seven of swords. Ouch. So yeah, you see, there's something they have to let go. So let's see what else we have Capricorn before we move on with, uh, with the rain. Let's see, let's put the cards down before we call it all out. Beautiful. Let's see what else we have. And let's look at the past first Knight of cups. She's offering him the cup. He's reaching ace of swords. This is about getting to the heart of the matter and the two of wands. This is work underway. This is uh, what's going on here. The, re the, re the recent past, this person uh, has gotten to the heart of the matter and work is underway about this offer. 
This is making a decision. The sword is in the stone. It's not stuck though. It's getting to the heart of the matter. Here's a crown of glory here under it or the crown of victory, however you like it. This two of wands is work underway. Mm -hmm. And this is in the past. Let's get a card for Capricorn's past. Let's get one more card. Two of swords. This is putting, this is, see this person, this is, they didn't, they, this is them planning, but it's also like feeling so like, like uh, not on the fence in terms of, I don't know what I want, but I feel like my power is kind of pulled from me a bit. Let's look at the two of swords. And it is oh yeah, upright. It is. And this is a uh, faith and belief, confidence, discernment. Okay. This is great here in this particular deck. This two of swords is wonderful. This is what they were doing, discerning to get to the heart of the matter with the Ace of Swords, use their Ace of Swords, uh, or yeah, Ace of Swords, but basically to have their best judgment here, to get work underway. This person, we heard it with the cord and the camouflage. They know it's not the right time, but it's coming. And your current situation, Six of Pentacles, Capricorn, and this is, you know, generosity and giving, but the justice card is reversed. A, a decision must be made. So there can be justice. This is your, you feel like a decision hasn't been made and you have not had your justice. Maybe he's, this person is giving to you and somebody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is goodwill too. This is like, this goodwill is for, is for this person, but they're, they're trapped in something over here, but they're, they're working their way out of it. Capricorn. Yeah. They got their little dog here to help them. Right. Yeah, they do. They're, they're digging their way out of something here. So you have justice reversed and let's see how they call it in this in this deck this talks about justice as an ideal that takes patience and sacrifice reversed injustice delayed you see that this you know it's this is your current situation there's a delay here because they know it's not the right time i like this reading because it gets very clear Talks about bribery, Capricorn. That's funny. I'm just, you know, <laughs> if you come with me, if you don't come, uh, this is going to happen. Or if you come, that's blackmail, right? But if you come, I'll, you know, I'll give you this and that, right? But this is just a delayed justice. And you feel like it is an injustice. You could feel like there's some type of abuse of power. And I don't, I don't think it's your person. They could be kind of abusing their own power, but against themselves, or they have been, I don't mean in a bad way. Abuse of power can mean, yeah, in the traditional sense, it means taking advantage of people, right? Using your power to hurt other people, but they could be in a situation where somebody is wielding power on them. But I don't feel like it's abuse of power in that way. I feel like it's kind of neglect of power in the past. Six of swords, uh, Capricorn reversed. And we know this to be a transition, all right? But this deck, this is delay, another delay. So this is your being, this is being delayed Capricorn by the universe. Their, and their uh, perspective, the fool, the eight of pentacles and the seven of swords, I talked about it. They want this adventure uh, with the fool and the eight of pentacles is that they're inspired, right? The seven of swords in this particular deck is, uh, is kind of trippy. Let's see what they say. The woman's walking out. She's, you know, leaving these swords and she's walking toward the full moon. In a full moon night, a woman walks into the unknown. You see, this is about the unknown and this is their perspective. They want this adventure, but they know it is heading into the unknown because they're with something that they know really well, but it's nothing good. I don't feel like it is seven of swords. The seven swords disappear in the sand. 
Wow, your person might feel like they feel useless, possibly. Attempt. They're going to make this attempt. Inconstant behavior. They're fluctuating. Unclear intention. Advice. It doesn't have to be all of those. Or, but I feel like this person here, this is a delay. It's a delay because they are coming here uh, and uh, they are still kind of in this kind of energy that is, they know it's the unknown. They know that they're going to walk. This is their perspective. They're going to be walking into the unknown. This is how they are. This is their perspective. But they know it's an adventure and they know they're into it because of the eight of pentacles. I don't believe this person can stay behind Capricorn, especially with this two of swords. This is a great two of swords in the past. It is. With gaining their judgment and getting work underway. Work is underway here. Because I believe this person is going to come and 80% of them, 75% of them knows they're coming. And the 25% is still like, like unclear. And that's what they mean about the unclear intention in this card. Yeah, this is a trip. In the near future, Ace of Cups, Chariot, Seven of Wands. He's praying for this brand new beginning in love, Capricorn. He's praying here, right? And the Chariot is here. He's getting in the chariot here. He doesn't care about opposing forces anymore because he's taking control of his life. Here's the opposing forces because here's the two, two different colored sphinxes and the ace of cups is a brand new beginning. This you're, you're praying for this and so are they because here they are, the eight of pentacles. I love this. I love Capricorn. I'm inspired. I want to make an effort. I see how beautiful what I can manifest. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles is usually the guy who is, you know, he's the, the goldsmith. And he's building, you know, he's making all these beautiful pentacles. Like he's, he's manifesting this money, basically. But it is something that is only good. And there's, there's effort required, but it's effortless because of the beauty and the inspiration that is involved. We're going to go to the extended, but we're going to have your person's extended is going to be done with this particular deck, the Moonology cards. Yeah, we're getting real moony here, Capricorn, not moody. All right. We're not that moody. No, we're not. Uh, because we, we say to ourselves, snap out of it. Power and light, right? Yeah, don't, don't, yeah. Be strong or like, or realize what you're doing here, right? Let's see what we got. <laughs> Let's see. And for them, show me the energy for Capricorn's person. And we also always have their, uh, their spread, their, you know, their tarot spread, how they feel about you, uh, and things like that, right? What's unknown and how they view this, things like that. Let's see what we have for Capricorn's person. And we have the card of a win-win outcome is forecast. This is their overall energy, full moon in Libra. So a win-win is forecast. In other words, this is going to come true for you. You're going to win out and they're going to win out. And this is about partnerships because it is Libra and it is harmony ruled by Vesta balance. Your hard work is paying off is the challenge for them, or it doesn't have to always be the challenge. It can be the, just the influential, what is kind of influencing this, right? Or crossing this, your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. So, you know, this is Capricorn's about your ambitions and what you really want. They want this to work out for them and to pay off their hard work. Let's see what the, the overall, I mean, the root is for them or why it's all happening. It is, you are good enough. Yeah. This person is feeling good enough. That's wonderful. Isn't it? Because maybe in the past they didn't feel good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Interesting because Virgo is about, you know, it can be about your health. It can be about work. Here we have your work is paying off. This person is working to come to you, whatever that is. But this you are good enough is uh, Virgo is the overanalyzer or, you know, they're into the details. This person has figured out with all their 100,000 details, right? Maybe they had to go deep over and over again. To really go within to ask themselves if they're good enough they are good enough and they know it 
It could be because you're good enough too, Capricorn, because we know, right? We know you're good enough, right? Like Barney says, why? Because we like you. Is that what Barney says? I don't remember. It's something, right? <laughs> We're going to end the reading and go to the extent that they're all super affordable. We're going to complete this. This is only three cards. And we're going to have the dynamic between you both, right? Like how they feed off you and how you feed off them and what you guys think about each other, things like that. Thank you so much for joining me here. As I said, they're all super affordable, I believe. And the link is below in the description box. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.